to Columbia on this Thursday night for AAC women's basketball action as Columbia International plays host to Truett McConnell. Rams fresh off of a tough loss at Kentucky Christian, losing 71 to 69, having an opportunity there at the buzzer to tie things up. But Jordan McQueen's last second shot bouncing off the back iron as the Rams fell to 9 and 11 on the regular season. Meanwhile, for Truett McConnell coming in on a little bit of a hot streak, sitting at 14 and 10 on the regular season. The Bears right now sitting comfortably in the conference standings. Meanwhile, Hatcher. Lifts a three too much under it. And now we'll see our first look at the Truett McConnell offense led by Ratavia Floyd, their talented senior guard, averaging over 17 points a game. Floyd, though, here along the right side, heavily going to be defended today by the vet, Tania Heston. Here's a three-point shot up in the air, rolling off the front rim for Natalie Nixon. Both teams exchanging misses in the early goings of this matchup. Trawick popping out from the post. Back in the hands of Hatcher along the right side. Brown getting her third start of the season here this afternoon. Lifts one too high off the glass and now we see Rotavia Floyd touch the basketball for the first time today. The Rome, Georgia native can't get it to fall. Heston goes around everyone, battles into the paint, and finds one off the window. Tania Heston, freshly named NCCAA Division I Women's Basketball Player of the Week last week, for the first time in school history, earning that honor. The Rams defense forcing a quick turnover, but here today in a close matchup in terms of statistics go. You look at True McConnell averaging right at 62 points per game for Columbia International at 59 points per game as a team. Here today, these two teams evenly match. It's going to come down to how their veterans play. For the Rams, it's going to be Tania Heston, we mentioned earlier, Tavia Floyd with True McConnell. And as the two collide, this time it's a charge against Heston. That'll be her first. And the Rams' first team foul. Rams head coach Danielle Fleming, great defensive mindset, loves to apply full court pressure. We'll see if the Bears slip up early on. The lone bucket coming earlier on. For Columbia International and Heston, True McConnell still trying to find the scoreboard. Floyd nearly has it poked away by Heston. Now she drives herself in the lane. An opportunity at second chance points before she's fouled. Brittany Brown, the guilty party, gonna pick up her first and a second team foul for Columbia International. Smith along the baseline, finds Floyd wide open along the perimeter. And she makes the Rams pay. Fleming going with a defensive heavy lineup today with both Brittany Brown and Quanika Howard on the floor. Floyd, though, getting her early bucket. Floyd calling for it in the corner. That one well off the mark. But she's left once again wide open. Cannot connect on back-to-back -back shot attempts from the right corner. These two squads starting out offensively slow. Heston from downtown, pinballing out, but it's Howard crashing the boards. Third chance opportunity, and call it a fourth. Brown pokes it back out to Heston, dumps it in, and Heston gonna be whistled for her second charge. A tough, tough break for Columbia National early as Nia Heston picks up a quick two personal fouls. Three overall for the squad, we see Kaniah Watkins come off the bench and while you lose a talented leader point guard in Heston, Watkins is a extremely solid second option that a lot of teams in this league would love to have 
as a sixth man. Watkins, senior out of Chattanooga, averaging over seven points a game in her backup role. Six and a half left in this opening quarter. Truett McConnell leading three to two. Floyd, pump fakes out Watkins, lifts a three in the air, too strong. Latavia Floyd starting out just one of six from the field. Howard though on the other end. Crashes her own rebound and finishes with a putback. Quanika Howard held to just six points in the loss at Kentucky Christian finds a scoreboard here tonight early on. Past the six minute mark in the first quarter, you got a kickball violation. And one substitution for each squad stepping onto the floor as True McConnell's Natalie Nixon heads the sidelines. Quan Holton sees her first game minutes. Meanwhile, Madison Ferrara, the Pittsburgh State University transfer out onto the hardwood for Columbia International's Brittany Brown. A low scoring one point game and that's gonna be five seconds. Just like that, the Rams defensive intensity forces a turnover. The second one today from the Bears. Underneath Ferrara off the cut, up with the right hand. Madison Ferrara finding her first points this afternoon, increases the lead to three. And now miscommunication from Truett McConnell, the pass from Smith to Floyd, bouncing off of Floyd's back out of bounds. One quick substitution for the Bears as Chloe Williams stepped aside. Dobbs is out on the floor. Hatcher. Ran right into a double team, and Dobbs comes away with a steal. Up and over the top to Jessica Jackson. One power dribbling in. Back to a one-point game. Watkins shakes her defender. Tried to go underneath to Trawick. Couldn't quite handle the pass out of bounds. And it will be Bears basketball. Pair of substitutions now on the floor. It's Hatcher and Trawick on the sidelines now. As Zion Thompson and Zion Neat step on the floor. One more addition for the Rams. It's Howard out and Jordan McQueen in. One thing we did not see today was Zion Neat getting the start. She's now coming off the bench. Averaging 12 points a game coming into this one. Neat, the talented sophomore who earned first team all conference awards a season ago. Floyd. Lifting a three ball in the air, still can't find her rhythm. Now one of seven from the field. Floyd though wanting it back. Kicking it out to Dobbs for the long range jumper, and you betcha. Alyssa Dobbs, sophomore out of Covington, Georgia. Puts Drew McConnell on top. Ferrara trying to retake the lead. Leaves it off the front iron. In transition, Smith kicking to Floyd. Layup left short by Latavia Floyd. Approaching four minutes left in this opening quarter. Williams, heavily guarded there by McQueen, is able to break into the paint. Now she drives up with the right hand. Troy McConnell, a 6-0 run to storm ahead by three. Still in the first quarter in Columbia. Neat, driving baseline, just rolls off the back side. Left side on the drive, kick out pass to Holton in the corner. Free ball off the mark and out of bounds, but it'll stay Truett McConnell basketball. Quickly inside to Callahan. Shot off the mark, cleared out by Thompson. The 
give and go. Here's Thompson. Off the glass. Zani Thompson cuts the deficit down to one point. Holton able to break the press. Goes over the top to Callahan. And now we have an injury timeout for Madison Ferrara of Columbia International. We'll take it with them. 254 left here in the first quarter. We'll be back on the CIU Sports Network. Back here in Columbia, 2.54 left in our opening quarter. With True McConnell leading 9-8. to eight. We had to take a pause there moments ago for Columbia International's Madison Ferrara, who in a movement away from the ball fell to the ground in pain and had to be helped off to the floor. It appears to be now being checked on by the medical staff along the sidelines. We'll see if we can possibly get an update from head coach Danielle Fleming at halftime. Meanwhile, the Bears able to break the press. It's Sydney Smith using her speed to cut through the 2-2-1. Underneath now, here's Dobbs powering up and in. Lissy Dobbs with her second bucket here today. Watkins trying to power her way into the paint, will draw the contact and get a trip to the line. Sydney Smith gonna be picking up her first personal. And just the first team foul for True McConnell after nearly six minutes of gameplay so far a clean game from the Bears. It's Floyd who heads the sidelines with Chloe Williams back onto the floor. Watkins, one of the best free throw shooters in the AAC at 74% on the season. She knocks down her first. It's Nia Heston picking up two fouls early on. The Rams leading a score at over 15 a game. Having to sit the bench for the majority of this first quarter, and we'll see how much of the second quarter she stays in early foul trouble. With Watkins out there, it gives you a very viable option at the one. Williams had it poked away by Neat, but there was some contact in there as well. That'll be Neat's first personal. And fourth team foul for CIU. Now two minutes left in this opening quarter. Still a one point game. Kick out pass to Smith who pulls up for three. Too much power, rebound kind of pinballed off of the bodies of Thompson and McQueen finally before the Rams were able to corral the rebound. Watkins left hand left short. Smith using her elusiveness. Kick in the corner, pull up three for Callahan, you betcha. Camilla Callahan, a senior out of Clearmont, Georgia. Gives Drew McConnell their largest lead in this first quarter. The third offensive foul of this first quarter whistled against Columbia International. It's Zion Neat this time now with two personals of her own. Two key stars now on the bench in foul trouble for Danielle Fleming's squad. Going to have to count on other playmakers to step in and make the difference as Hannah Trewick will sub in. Juan Holton's pass 
Sells over everyone's head out of bounds, but look at what Fleming's gonna have to do now. Her top two scorers, both with two fouls apiece in this first quarter alone. We'll be interested to see how that's managed down the stretch. 14 to 10, our score, True McConnell on top. McQueen pull-up jumper, takes one bounce before falling off the backside. Holton, pump fake, then drove inside. Layup off the mark though, and we see a foul come down on the rebound. Quan Holton of Truett McConnell trying to crash the offensive board. We'll pick up her first and the second team foul. Jordan McQueen now heading to the sidelines for CIU. It's Larissa Lee, the senior out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Stepping onto the floor. Had six points in 16 minutes on the road at Kentucky Christian. Earlier this week. Watkins well, saw the baseline. Now Hatcher working off the Trawick screen. Jumper won't fall. 20 seconds left in this first quarter. Shot clock turned off. The Bears can hold for the last shot if they so do please. Leading by four, and it looks like they will. 10 seconds left, Holton along the left side. Working around a few screens, kicks in the corner, Callahan. Five to shoot, she drives up with the right hand, too strong. Leinbach with the board. Watkins, last second heave. will close out the first quarter. At the end of one, True McConnell on top by four. Here from Columbia, we'll be back on the CIU Sports Network. Back inside the Moore Fitness Center as we begin second quarter action in AAC play here this evening. Drew McConnell on top of Columbia International by four. When you look across the score sheets, well, both teams struggling from the field, both shooting under 35% through that first quarter. Really the biggest storyline so far is how CIU has had to adapt without its two leading scorers, both Zion Neat and Tania Heston. Average a combined 27 points a game, both on the bench with two personal fouls apiece. The Rams in the early foul trouble outside of those two have really had to manage with players like Larissa Lee, like Brittany Brown, like Quinika Howard even coming off the bench, doing a nice job to pick up the pace. Here's Howard from three, doing just that and bringing the Rams back within one. And a made shot is exactly what the Rams need, both on the offensive mindset, but also defensively, so they can set up this full court pressure they like to run. Trawick, the poke out from the paint, pass and pin for Dobbs, sent out of bounds. It'll stay true at McConnell basketball. And now one report we do have for you, back in that first quarter, we saw Madison Ferrara go down in an injury that occurred away from the basketball. Had to be helped off the floor. She was obviously in some visible pain based on the emotional distress she was displaying. But now after talking with the medical staff for a while, we now see her down on the sidelines walking around trying to see if she can possibly go. Still in uniform. Lee tries dribbling out of the corner. And she's gonna draw contact. Coming back out to the point. Sydney Smith grabbing her second personal. And we see the return of Ritalia Floyd, a talented, talented 5'5 five five senior guard out of Rome, Georgia. 
leading the Bears with 17 points a game. Here today, you've been held to just three on one of eight shooting. Floyd struggling to get her offensive start. Alongside her, Casey Williams. Freshman out of Canton, Georgia. Fresh off an eight point game at St. Andrews. Now seeing her first game minutes this afternoon. Howard, the crossover, finds the lane and goes high off the window. What a nice job there from Quinika Howard to work her way through traffic, find the open gap, and attack the basket. Floyd nearly lost it off the bounce. Was able to power through the transition and give Drew McConnell a chance to set the offense. Trewick, a nice job getting in front of the pass to nearly poke it away once again. The five to shoot, Dobbs lifts a shot in the air and it's deflected by Trewick. Hatcher in transition with two minutes going by in this second quarter. Rams back on top by one. Can they protect the lead? Floyd pokes Brown's dribble out of bounds. State Rams basketball. Dobbs heading to the sidelines. One true McConnell. Substitution. It's Emily Ashley. Make that excuse me. Jessica Jackson onto the floor. Jackson initially had the rebound. Howard poked it away. Couldn't get the putback to fall. Floyd now drawing the double team out. She's a little bit of a blocking foul from Larissa Lee. That's her first and first team foul for CIU. Twelve to shoot for Truett McConnell. Floyd trying to work through traffic, and Lee's going to strip it and steal it. Marissa Lee in transition. Kicks back out to Hatcher for the straightaway. But Trewick is going to grab the offensive board. Back of the hands of Lee, too strong off the back iron. Rumble works against Hatcher, but it's blocked out of bounds. Madison Hatcher, her first block this afternoon, staves off a basket. Keeps Columbia International in front by a point. 6.57 left in this first half. Pass intended for Williams. Punched out by Brown. Lee heading to the sidelines. We see the return of Tania Heston. The leading scorer for Columbia International. Nearly 16 points a game. Heston, two quick personal fouls in the first quarter. Both off of charges. She's got to be careful in the offensive end in her physical style of play. Floyd at the top, defended by Brown. Right as she got to the elbow, Quinika Howard. Whistle for the personal foul, her first, team second. Natalie Nixon started this game back on the floor for True McConnell as Williams heads to the bench. Finds Floyd open in the corner off the inbounds. Still can't get her shots to fall. Floyd starting one for nine here today. Pass to her along the left side. Bounces off of her forearms and into the bleachers. A rough offensive start. Bernard Rotavia Floyd for Stuart McConnell as well, shooting 26% from the field. And just 2 of 11 from deep. Six and a half to play in this first half. Rams still holding that one-point lead. Trewick at the point. Tried to go Hatcher left side, miscommunication. Hatcher was headed for the cut underneath. Trewick's pass. Trying to find her along the perimeter. Yeah. 
Williams along the right wing. Her pass is poked away and stolen by Watkins. In transition, the Rams looking for the bucket. Turnaround backdoor pass to Heston, knocking down the J. Tania Heston, her second bucket of the ball game, and nearly Brown had another steal. Three-point shot in the air from Jackson. Responds on the other end and ties this game up at 17-all. Jessica Jackson, the senior out of Bradenton, Florida, find the scorebook for the first time today in a meaningful way. Heston trying to do the same. Too strong. And a timeout whistled by Truett McConnell head coach, Cake Fields. 5.14 left in this second quarter. All tied up at 17 from Columbia on the CIU Sports Network. Back inside the Moore Fitness Center. 5.14 left in this first half. We're all tied up at 17 in AAC women's action on this Thursday night. Truett McConnell and Columbia International really in this back and forth ball game. Both teams exchanging the lead a few times. And it'll be Truett McConnell basketball coming out of their own timeout at midcourt. One of the biggest struggles right now that's holding Truett McConnell back is the slow offensive start for their star, Ratavia Floyd. She looking to drive inside. Now into the hands of Rumble, the pull-up jumper, knocking it down. But back to Floyd, starting one of nine from the field in just three points so far here today. Came in averaging over 17 a game. Heston at the top of the key, working off the Trawick screen. Jumper left short. 4.41 left. Before we head to the locker rooms, Drew McConnell up by two. Floyd working her way through traffic to lift in the layup. A 7-0 run right now from Drew McConnell. Watkins nearly had the and one opportunity. As Quan Holton whistled for her second personal instead. Fouls whistled on the floor. The Rams basketball with 24 on the shot clock. Inbounds pass was a little bit short and right into the hands of Rumble. Just the fourth turnover of today's game for CIU. Can True McConnell extend their 7-0 run across the last minute? Nixon, too strong off the back iron. Heston, side step, layup just off the mark. She grabs the offensive board. Her opportunity at second chance points is unsuccessful. Cleared out by Floyd. Columbia International now just one for their last eight from the field. Dobbs from three point land. Snagged by Watkins. Three and a half left in the first half. Working through two defenders. Rebound snagged by McQueen. Bucket won't fall, but she'll get some opportunities at the free throw line. Must be something along the backside of that rim that is plaguing Columbia International here today. A lot of their shots we've seen just roll off, really, if you a pinball out near misses. Queen's first free throw up and good. A 70% shooter from the stripe this season is the Columbus, Ohio native. Two for two on that trip as she cuts the deficit in half. Rams trailing by two points. Drew McConnell.
Holden sees Dobbs wide open along the back side. Up and in. Columbia International, one for their last 10 from the field. Watkins shaking off a defender, knocking it down. Heston, Watkins, Trawick, McQueen, and Zion meet the five Rams defenders on the floor. Inside to Callahan. Rebound, grabbed by Neat. Watkins diving baseline. Reversal not there. Holton to grab the rebound. Floyd trying to find some pay dirt in the paint. Not there. Under two to play now. Neat from three-point land. You betcha. Zion Neat with her first points here today. Puts Columbia International on top by one in a crucial moment. Neat had two early personal fouls that kept her out for most of this game. And now the Rams second leading score finally finds the scorebook. Pass to Holton sails away. There's a pair of Rams come off of the bench. Trawick and Watkins head to the sidelines with Thompson and Howard back on the floor. Be sure to stay tuned. Coming up here at halftime, we will speak with Rams head coach Danielle Fleming on her team's first half performance. Inside, Thompson, short range jumper, knocking it down. Bonnie Thompson now with four points, pushes the lead for Columbia International. Now a 7 0 run for the Rams. Right side three from Callahan, up and through. Camilla Callahan ties or make that, ties this game up at 26 with 42 seconds left. Howard airballs her three ball attempt. Callahan trying to save it, falls in the hands of Dobbs. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Floyd, though, going to run the clock down as much as she can. Although Heston and the lead defender are going to step up and close out the space. 12 to shoot, 13 to play. Dobbs out to Nixon, underneath to hold it. Back door to Dobbs, off the window. Now four seconds left. McQueen calling for the pull-up three-pointer. Left short to close out the first half. Truett McConnell, thanks to a late second bucket from Alicia Dobbs, heads into the locker rooms up 28 to 26 over Columbia International. We'll be back momentarily with Ram head coach Danielle Fleming when we come back on Rams halftime right here on the CIU Sports Network.
Back here inside the Moore Fitness Center, Kay Crenshaw now joined alongside Rams head coach Danielle Fleming. Coach, down at the break just by a bucket, but your squad battled back, especially after some early adversity. Your two leading scorers getting in foul trouble with Tania and Zion. What do you think about your bench really stepping up? Uh, I think they stepped up. I, I think Quinega came up big for us. I wish I could have get a, a, those couple buckets that went dropped for her, but uh, good takes. I think they stepped up, and they're keeping us in this game. Uh, I think they have Tania's number. You know, she's been doing very well getting to the bucket. So they're kind of like sliding over, taking that charge. But she's going to have to figure out some more things, get to the – use that left hand and get to the bucket that way. No, not the offensive start you'd like to see from your group, just 26 points here at the half. But it seems like a lot of those shots just pinballing out or bouncing off the back iron. What do you hope to see from your offense in the second half? Uh, some more makes. <laughs> uh, I like our ball movement. I think we're moving the ball, so I like that. I think we're taking good shots. They're just, honestly just not falling. I don't really love the mid-range. I think we can fall in love with it too much. So if we're going to shoot, I want it to be a three or a layup. We're doing fine from the free throw line, four for four. Um, so I would love to try to get there more. They're not going to let us use our right hand as much. So I'm going to talk to them about, you know, going into our left hand, putting it in that left hand. I think Quinnica did a great job with that. We saw Madison Ferrara go down for you in the first half with a lower leg injury. Do you have an update for her here at halftime? Yeah, that was a tough break. She's been practicing very well and, and, and came out very well. So. Uh, they said that she rolled her ankle, should be okay. Uh, she's gonna get tested here at halftime, and athletic trainer will let me know if she's good to go. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. That takes us into the halftime break with Stuart McConnell on top of Columbia International, 28 to 26 here tonight in AAC Women's Action. We'll be back with you for full coverage of the second half when we come back inside the Moore Fitness Center on the CIU Sports Network.
Here for second half action from Columbia inside the Moore Fitness Center. Kay Crenshaw with you on the CIU Sports Network where True McConnell on the road in conference action leads Columbia International 28 to 26. Look back at that first half and really as the score indicates, it was offensively lackluster. Your game high leading scorer is Columbia International's Quinica Howard with just seven points. Outside of that, a pretty balanced attack across the board for both squads. Really the mainstay though early on has been how it's been role players really stepping into big time roles here tonight in the absence of some bigger stars performances. For True McConnell in the first half, it was Ratavia Floyd struggling with just five points, but she gets this second half started with an early transition lay-in. Floyd averaging over 17 a game, now with seven points tonight. Smith on the steal, goes off the window, and the Bears come out of the half hot as they increase their lead now to six, all within the first minute of the third quarter. And that's gonna force a Danielle Fleming timeout. 9.15 left in the third. 30 second timeout from Columbia International. We'll be back in moments on the CIU Sports Network. Definitely not the start of the second half that the Rams were looking for. One substitution onto the floor for CIU. It's Zion Neep checking in for Jordan McQueen. Just under a minute gone by in this third quarter. The Rams looking for their first points. Howard, who had seven in the first half, can't finish off the backboard. Floyd grabbing the board. Now the senior guard kicks it forward to Jackson. Smith able to recover the loose ball and reset the true McConnell offense. Brown going for the steal and she's got it. In transition, kick over pass to Heston, pump fake off the window. Tania Heston now with six points. Draws the Rams back within four with 8.23 left in the third. Swinging it into the corner for Floyd. Trying to shake off Howard. Free ball in the air and right into the hands of Neat off the air ball. Pull up from the elbow, just rolling off the backside. We talked of Danielle Fleming there at the break. When she looked at her squad's offensive performance there in the first half, they're putting up shots. Attempted 39 shots so far here today, just 11 makes. One thing I asked her, you know, what do you hope to see from your offense in the second half? Simplest answer, more shots going in. Like that one from Natalie Nixon in the deep corner. Her first points this afternoon pushes the Truett McConnell lead now to seven, the largest it's been here tonight. Neat looking to respond. Once again, the offensive woes continue for the Rams who are shooting just 28% from the field. Floyd. Left all alone from three. She settled in to knock down the shot. A lead that was just two at the break is now up to 10. Eston on the straightaway. Brown though, crashing the offensive boards. She can't quite contain it though before hitting out of bounds. Brown gonna check out Kanaya Watkins to see her first second half minutes. 6.38 left here in the third quarter. Drew McConnell opening up the second half on a 10 to two run. Jackson handoff pass to Smith. Resets the Bears offense.
Rumble finds herself in the paint. Now out in the corner for Jackson. Three-pointer just banking off. Rumble rolls over Zion Neat trying to save it. And just like that, Latavia Foy, the vet play, calls the timeout as she's leaping out of bounds to save the basketball and save the possession. You talk about senior leadership. Freshmen, as talented as they may be, are not going to have that mental aspect like Floyd just showcased right there to recognize I'm going out of bounds. The only way to save this possession for sure is to try and whistle a player's timeout and hope the referee hears me. Indeed, he did. And 6.04 is left here in the third quarter. Drew McConnell looks to keep things going on their hot offensive start here in the third quarter, but also keeping it up on the defensive end as they've held the Rams scoreless for the last two and a half minutes of game action. Smith to run point. Six minutes left in the third quarter here in Columbia. Rumble runs right into Trawick. And that obstacle forces the miss. Watkins is going to pull up from three-point land. As Heston crashed the board, she went to poke it out and went the wrong direction, out of bounds. It'll be True McConnell basketball as the Rams have missed each of their last four shots. Neat forcing the steal, looking for the save as she ran into the scorer's table. Falls back into the hands of Rumble. Floyd trying to dribble out of action. Howard with the poke away steal. Now up in transition. Her layup left short, but a late whistle will send her to the line. Five thirteen left in the third quarter. Sydney Rumble heading to the sidelines as Camilla Callahan. Senior out of Claremont, Georgia, steps back onto the floor. Meanwhile, for the Rams, it's Heston heading to the sidelines with Lee back on the floor. And soon we'll see Howard check out with Leinbach at the scorer's table. Quanika Howard, an 81% shooter from the stripe this season. Can't knock down her first, and the Rams' offensive struggles continue. Just 26% from the field here today. One of two from the stripe. For Quinica, as Mariah Leinbach, the true freshman, steps onto the floor. Up and over the top to Callahan. Kick out pass now to Floyd. Crossover into the paint. Driving left hand up and in. Ratavia Floyd starting to find her groove now with 12 points. The lone score here today in double digits. Trevick off the front iron. Leinbach, second chance efforts, not there. But she'll take what she gets the third time around. An opportunity out of three-point play. Sydney Smith. The, the guilty party. Going to be picking up her first. Make that her third, excuse me. Natalie Nixon on the sidelines now with Quan Holton back on the floor. Leinbach out of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, completes the three-point play. Her first points this evening. Now Watkins whistled for a foul prior to the inbounds. That's her second. Make that her first. Under five minutes left now in the third. Holton going to bring it up the floor herself. 40 to 32. True McConnell on top. Callahan sees her pass tipped into the backcourt. Smith will bring it back across the center logo. Defended by Watkins at the point. Goes left side. Holden. Now to the hands of Floyd. They go over the top to Jackson. Trying to penetrate the paint. Runs into danger. Stripped and stolen by Neat. One on one action. Zion Neat. Nearly lost her dribble, able to contain it and go off the glass. Football, 
into Smith. Four minutes left in the third. 40 to 34, True McConnell on top by six. A lead at one point in time was as much as 10. The Rams have slowly trimmed away at it, forcing bad passes just like that off the hands of Callahan. Trawick out, Hatcher in for CIU. Neat from the elbow. Turnaround, right hand, not there. Grabbing her own offensive rebound, trying to power up another shot. Now Watkins with an opportunity at a third crack of this possession. Hatcher, step back three. Foul whistled on the rebound against the Rams. And it's against Zion Neat. That'll be her third. Team's second foul in this second half. And now Neat with three personals gonna have to head the sidelines. Jordan McQueen back on the floor. 322 left in the third. Drew McConnell leading by six. Rams starting to apply the full court pressure. Smith can work up against Watkins. Now we'll draw the double team. Floyd left alone in the corner. Faked out one defender, lifted the three in the face of Lee. Not there. Jump ball whistled off the rebound as McQueen and Callahan fought after it. It'll stay a true McConnell basketball with 3.06 left in the third quarter. Holden between two defenders. We hear an offensive call. Hatcher hits the deck. And it's Quan Holton picking up her third personal foul. And the third team foul for the Bears. Watkins trying to work around. Foul whistled offensively against Kanaya Watkins. That'll now be her third. Puts her on the bench following the offensive push. Heston back in action. Can True McConnell find their first points in over two minutes or can the Rams defense continue to stand tall and not allow the deficit to grow. Holton, kick out to Floyd from three. You betcha. When they needed it the most, their senior stepped up. Latavia Floyd knocks it down. Now with a game high 15. Heston out to Hatcher, trying to respond. One bounce, now two. Whistles off the rebound. It'll stay Rams basketball as Alyssa Dobbs picks up her first personal foul. The fourth team foul. Linebot trying to kick it back out. Hatcher has to save it, but it falls right in the hands of Floyd. Up with the right hand, Ratavia Floyd pushes the lead to 11, the largest it has been tonight. Inside the line bot, turnaround shot, rattling out. Somehow it falls back into the hands of line bot, and she finishes with second chance points. Smith comes up limping for Truett McConnell. Pair substitutions apiece as Smith exits for the Bears. Chloe Williams onto the floor, meanwhile Hatcher exits in steps Quanika Howard. Immediate punch out by Howard on the pass. A minute 39 left in this third quarter.
Free ball up and in for Callahan. Makes this, once again, an 11 point game. Howard out to Heston. Looked at the three pointer. Down in the hands of Lee. Spin move into the paint, trying to find the open teammate. It's Howard from three. Too strong. Rebound grab by Holton. Up the four to Dobbs, but intercepted by Quinika Howard. 55 seconds left in the third quarter. She goes high off the window, not there. McQueen's put back is. 18 seconds separate shot clock from game clock. Plenty of time for one last possession for either squad. 15 to shoot for Truett McConnell. It's Williams. Kick out to Holton from three. Not there. Howard with the rebound. Shot clock now turned off with 22 seconds left in the quarter. Rejected by Holton out of bounds. A big time block from the senior out of Phoenix City, Alabama. Columbia International just two of their last ten from the field. They are struggling offensively here tonight, just 27% from the field and two of 17 from deep. And to Howard and through at 14 seconds and counting. Rams cut the deficit down to seven. Floyd gonna pick it up with eight to shoot. Gonna add back some time on the game clock, put it back to 10 seconds. And it'll now be off the inbounds along the baseline. Originally slated for the sideline. Floyd to bring it up for the last shot. Working up against Lee. Five to shoot along the left wing. Now three. Kick out. Three ball from Callahan deflected. Over the end of the third quarter. True McConnell increases their lead from halftime, now up by seven. 47-40, True McConnell on top of CIU when we come back from Columbia. We'll close it out for you on the CIU Sports Network. Back in Columbia, as we begin the fourth quarter, we see some early conversations between the referees as to who gets this possession to open up the fourth quarter. Rams head coach Danielle Fleming exclaiming that it should be her team's possession. Referees do agree with her. Sure, McConnell leading 47 to 40. Lots of miscommunication from everyone as we begin this fourth quarter across the board. It's finally underway. It's Heston, McQueen, Howard, Leinbach, and Larissa Lee. A five out there for Columbia International. Meanwhile, across the way for True McConnell, it's Holton, Dobbs, Callahan, Williams, and of course, Ratavia Floyd, their leading scorer here tonight with 17. Out of bounds, it'll stay Rams basketball with 18 on the shot clock. 9.35 left here to play. Early on in the first half, we saw Columbia International 
lose one of their key role players to injury as Madison Ferrara went down with a lower leg injury earlier on in the first half. Got an update from head coach Daniel Fleming at halftime, believed to be a rolled ankle. She was evaluated at halftime to see if she could possibly play some minutes for the remainder of this game. However, she has remained on the sidelines now in a precautionary boot with crutches. Layup good there by Floyd, now with 19. Stripped and stolen. Floyd picking it up on the defensive end. Over the top to Holden. Not enough to pick up the transition bucket. Going to have to reset the offense. Dobbs from just outside the free throw line. Knocking down the long range jumper. The Rams will take a timeout. 8.54 left in the fourth. Drew McConnell back up by 11, 51 to 40. Bears lead it. We come back on the CIU Sports Network. Under nine minutes left to play on this Thursday night in Columbia. True McConnell leading 51 to 40 ahead of Columbia International. Not the offensive night to remember for Danielle Fleming's squad shooting just 27% from the field. And well, so far that's been the difference maker with True McConnell compared to shooting 45% from the field, including seven made threes to the Rams two. Floyd going for the steal. She steps out of bounds. It'll stay Rams basketball with 19 on the shot clock. Hatcher, Watkins, Trawick, Brown, and Neat. The five white jerseys on the floor for Danielle Fleming's squad. Neat. Short range floater, not there. Rebound, poked back out to Trawick. Hatcher was before the travel. Be sure to stay tuned after the conclusion of this game here on the CIU Sports Network as we'll bring you the men's showdown between these two programs. And what an exciting matchup we're going to get there. Two of the best big men in the AAC in Truett McConnell's Inaka Frankie and Columbia International's DeAnthony Heathcock going to go head-to-head -head on the interior and battle it out on the boards. Both sit in the top five in the conference's rebounding leaders. Callahan grabs the miss from Floyd and she's fouled underneath. On the floor, referee will signal the call with 8.01 left in the fourth quarter. Maria Leinbach now stepping on for Zion Neat and Columbia International. Down by 11, can the Rams battle back and see a come from behind victory here at home? Holton driving baseline, now Floyd with five to shoot in the hands of Callahan. Three ball just rattling out. Nearly kissed every inch of the rim before falling. Trawick getting the transition bucket. The big junior here from Lexington. Sees her first bucket of the night fall. And she cuts the deficit down to nine. Floyd trapped in the paint, kicks out to Dobbs. Her jumper off the back iron. Watkins losing her dribble, trying to work through traffic. One good sign we now see from Truett McConnell is Sydney Smith back on the floor. She exited early on in the third quarter, kind of limpingly. 
Sat down for a few minutes for a breather. She's back out there. That's Corey Williams steps aside, but you look throughout this game, and Smith's been one of those figures that, well, hasn't shown up really on the scoreboard, just two points, but her speed has been the difference maker, especially in the transition game and also breaking down the Rams' full court pressure that they really lean on a lot of times. Callahan fouled underneath on her shot attempt. It'll be her first trip to the free throw line tonight. It's Brittany Brown, the guilty party, her second. Team second. Callahan, a 48% shooter this season from the free throw line. And knock down her first, a senior out of Claremont, Georgia. Looking for double digits here tonight. She can make this next one. Indeed she does. Callahan now 19 of 25 games this season in double figures. The one-two punch between her and Ratavia Floyd is what has made Troop McConnell very successful this season. Here tonight looking for their 15th win in the 21-22 campaign. Hatcher running jumper. Not there, Holden grabbing it. Troop McConnell looking for their first made basket outside of a free throw in nearly three minutes. Leinbach with the steal. Rams have a three-on-one advantage over to Watkins. Her pass, though, behind Leinbach. Hatcher left all alone from three. You betcha. Madison Hatcher, the true freshman of Murfreesboro, Tennessee, cuts the deficit down to eight. Can the Rams continue getting defensive key stops to keep them in this game and keep the hope for a comeback win alive? Callahan has other answers than that. She lays it up and in. Inside to Brown, trying to back down her defender. Turn around, shot out there. Leinbach though, grabbing the bouncing rebound off of a few bodies. And Ryan Leinbach now with seven points. Dobbs from three-point land, left short. Callahan nearly had the offensive board, and that would have been a big one. Meanwhile, Watkins kicks over to Trawick, goes off the window. Hannah Trawick now with four points, cuts the deficit down to six. The Rams continue to claw away at the Truett McConnell lead, but can they overcome the hump enough? At least they've done enough to force the Bears to worry. Timeout, Truett McConnell with 424 left in the fourth. We'll be back in 60 seconds from Columbia on the CIU Sports Network. Four twenty-four left in the fourth quarter here tonight from the Moore Fitness Center in Columbia for the hosting CIU Rams still trying to battle back against True McConnell. Trailing by as much as 11 here in this fourth quarter. The deficit is down to six thanks to a number of key defensive stops, but the way Camilla Callahan is able to work through traffic, it's gonna be tough for the Rams to continue eating away at the lead. Shots like that, though, will do it. Madison Hatcher coming alive in a big way. All six points from her. 
kind of here in this fourth quarter as the Rams have sank each of their last three shots. Callahan out to Smith, 15 on the shot clock. Leading by five, Holden drives, and sees it fall through. Leinbach in the mid-range jumper, bounces out. The Rams really need a defensive stop on this possession. Down by seven, you wanna make the deficit manageable. Holden, working past the freshman Leinbach, layup not there, and she's fouled on her second chance efforts. Leinbach can check out now for Heston with 3.15 left in the fourth. Quan Holton at the line, the senior out of Phoenix City, Alabama. 48% from the line this season. First one off the mark. One for two on the trip is Holton. And True McConnell lays claim to an eight point lead with just over three minutes left. Inside to Thompson. Turnaround shot in the air. Rebound poked out to Hatcher. Can the Rams capitalize on second chance efforts? Contact is drawn, puts Hatcher at the free throw line. Sydney Smith going to pick up what is now her fourth personal foul. She's going to have to head to the sidelines with Sydney Rumble back on the floor. Meanwhile, across the way, Hannah Trawick now stepping in for Thompson. Two minutes, 54 seconds left here in regulation for Columbia International to try to battle back. And it's going to be shots like this that really count down the stretch. Finishing at the free throw line, CIU today 7 of 8 as a team. Hatcher goes two for two on her trip and makes it a six point deficit. Two possession game if you can hit deep shots. They're gonna need defensive stops on the other end to keep it that way. Floyd gonna draw the contact from Hatcher. It'll be the fourth team foul for Columbia International. One more and it puts Drew McConnell at the line. Hatcher, that's just her second personal. Callahan nearly has it poked away, and it is stolen by Heston. Up the floor to Watkins. The Rams trying to cut the deficit up and one. Kanaya Watkins with a big time bucket. And now an opportunity to cut this down to a three point game. 2.39 left in the fourth quarter. And one of the Rams' best free throw shooters is at the strike 74% on the season. Up and through is Watkins. She's three of three from the line today. Down by 11 points in this same quarter. Now with two minutes and 30 seconds left, the Rams are back within three. Callahan, missed shot, tries to save it. Into the hands of Heston, it falls. Up the floor to Hatcher, looking to tie the game. Three-pointer left short, but out of bounds off of Truett McConnell. 24 seconds on the shot clock, 219 on the fourth. You don't want to force the three-pointer to try and tie. You've got plenty of time left. Referee now going to whistle for a stoppage. Clear up a wet spot on the floor. Drew McConnell leading 60 to 57. As they are looking for their 15th win of the season. Meanwhile, Columbia International going to look for their 10th win this year. Hatcher for the tie. You betcha. Madison Hatcher ties it up at 60 with 2.07 left in the fourth. 
Rumble losing her dribble, forcing the steal. Now here's Heston over to Wykins, slowing down the offense. Heston's layup off the mark. Holden's full court pass. Stolen by Watkins. It's now a numbers game. Pull up Jay. Bouncing off. Loose rebound. Who comes down with it? Whistles blow. I believe it's going to be the Rams and Madison Hatcher. Going to be whistled for the foul. We'll see here at the referee's discretion. And it is Madison Hatcher. Going to be whistled for the personal foul. That's her third. The team's fifth foul. Of course, that now gives True McConnell the bonus. Here on out, they will shoot two free throws. After a hard collision, Retavia Floyd slow to this free throw line. What a comeback here from CIU, whether you finish it or not. An 8 0 run over the last. One minute, 20 seconds to tie it up late in the fourth. Boy, going to knock down her first. An 82% shooter from the line this season. You won't find many better from the stripe in the AAC. Floyd looking to make it a full possession game. Indeed she does with a minute 37 to play. One thing you don't want to see from Columbia International, you don't want to lose your composure. You can get caught in the moment a lot. This minute and a half can feel like 30 seconds in an instant. You want to make sure you slow it down, get good shot looks and strong passes. Hatcher from three, just rattling out and off the rebound. We see Sydney Smith fouled by Quanika Howard. Drew McConnell with an opportunity Go up by four points, all from the free throw line. CIU tied it up at 60. After a pair of Ratavia Floyd free throws, now Sydney Smith has a chance to really give Drew McConnell some cushion room. Shooting 63% this season. First one up and good. True McConnell now leading by two possessions. The Rams put back out one of their sophomore leaders in Zion Neat with Hannah Trewick coming to the sidelines. Meanwhile, across the way, Rumble steps back out for Jessica Jackson. One minute, 20 seconds is all that's left here in Columbia. True McConnell 64, Columbia International 60. The feeling of intensity starting to pick up here late. Watkins trying to battle through traffic and she will be fouled. Latavia Floyd gonna pick up her second personal. Just the third team foul for True McConnell, still two to give. And the Rams eat away the deficit and stay in the game. Under a minute to play. Out to Watkins. Over to Howard from three-point land. Just off the mark. Hatcher's rebound gets away from her into the hands of Truett McConnell. Up the floor to Floyd. The exclamation point. With 45 seconds left in the fourth. Timeout, CIU. True McConnell, after seeing their lead, diminished down to a tie game. I've gone on a 6-0 run the last 52 seconds. Nearly put this game away. We'll be back with you in 30 seconds from Columbia on the CIU Sports Network. Forty-five seconds left here in the fourth quarter. We're back with you in the Moore Fitness Center on the CIU Sports Network as it is Rams basketball down by six to Truett McConnell. You look back, you're just now joining us 
Columbia International trailed by eight with a minute and a half to go. Battled back and tied it up at 60. But since it's been all true at McConnell, mainly from the free throw line. Neat, second chance effort at a three pointer, not there. Howard, the putback falling through. Now a four point lead with 34 seconds left. For the inbounds, Drew McConnell taking the timeout. That will be their final timeout of the game. 34 seconds left, just a 30 second timeout, so we'll keep it here, but Drew McConnell leading by four. One thing they've really leaned on, on those full court inbound opportunities is the so-called cherry picking. You know, you go over the top, one player just gives it all she has up the floor and whoever is inbounding does their best quarterback and airs it out down the hardwood. For Columbia International, they need a stop here and a quick shot on the other end. Down by four points, if you allow True McConnell to score, that might be the final nail in the coffin. CIU to fall cold, it came at the worst possible time after you go on an 8-0 run over a span of 50 seconds to tie it back up. Rams now one for their last seven from the field. 34.4 seconds left in regulation. The inbound stolen by Heston. And the Rams gonna take a quick timeout here. They struggled a little bit in that transition game, mainly because Heston wasn't expecting the steal, kind of fell right into her hands. Now with 29 and a half seconds left in the fourth, we've got a full timeout taken from Danielle Fleming. No timeouts left. When we come back, we will close it out. Under 30 seconds left here in the fourth, True McConnell leading by four. We'll be back in Columbia on the CIU Sports Network. Drew McConnell up by four with 29 and a half seconds left in regulation here in Columbia. It'll be Rams basketball though, just beyond half court. It'll be Heston, Neat, Howard, Hatcher, and Watkins, the five white jerseys out there for Danielle Fleming's squad. Meanwhile for Drew McConnell, it's Rumble, Smith, Holton, Latavia Floyd, and Camilla Callahan. Howard. Going to look to get it in quick. She's running out of time. Gets it in to Watkins. On the drive, Watkins the runner, too strong. Loose rebound, corralled by Zion Neat. Going to result in a jump ball that goes Truett McConnell's way. 21 seconds left in the fourth. And now we see a Truett McConnell timeout. be a full timeout, so we'll take a break. Four point lead for the Bears with 21 seconds left on the CIU Sports Network. Twenty-one seconds left here in the fourth quarter. True McConnell leading sixty-six to sixty-two ahead of Columbia International. The Rams battling back to tie it up at sixty, but True McConnell showing why they're one of the top teams in the conference. Getting it done at the free throw line late. Now with twenty-one seconds left, it will be Bears basketball. Into Callahan. Brown, the quick foul to stop the clock at 19 seconds. Yeah. 
Drew McConnell already in the bonus. They will automatically get two free throws from here on out for each foul. Brown now will check out for Neat. Camilla Callahan, the senior from Claremont, Georgia. With a big time game today. 14 points on the afternoon. And this is her first. And now a timeout from Columbia International. With 19.7 seconds left. Drew McConnell now leads by five. We'll be back from Columbia on the CIU Sports Network. Sixty-seven, sixty-two. our score here late in the fourth quarter in Columbia. 19 seconds are all that's left in regulation with Drew McConnell on the road leading by five. It is CIU basketball on their end of the floor. Heston to inbounds. You've got Trawick, Howard, Neat, and Hatcher joining her on the floor. In to Neat. Down by five. Trying to find Hatcher for a quick shot. Heston going to have to lift one in the air from three-point land. Not there. Neat, the offensive board and put back. Bouncing off. Cleared out by Holton. And she's immediately fouled with six seconds left. The shots just simply haven't fallen here tonight for Columbia International. Valiant comeback at that. She finished shooting 29% from the field this evening, including one for your last 10 down the stretch. You can usually combat that if you have strong defense. And the Rams played strong defense all night. They forced 21 turnovers from the Bears compared to just committing just 11. But when Troy McConnell got looks, they made them count. 44% from the field tonight, including seven made threes. Holton's first free throw off the mark. Howard now to Heston, three seconds left, up the floor to Watkins for one last shot, and that'll do it. True McConnell staves off a huge comeback from Columbia International as they get the win, 67 to 62. The Bears improve to 15 and 10 on the regular season and 11 and eight in conference play. Meanwhile, with the loss, CIU falls to nine and 12 on the regular season and seven and nine in the AAC. Looking ahead on schedule, CIU will hit the road. Coming up this Saturday at Reinhardt for a 2 p.m. tip. Meanwhile, across the way for True McConnell, they'll continue their road trip on Monday at Bernal with a 5.30 p.m. tip off. We'll be back with you in moments. Steer here on the CIU Sports Network with the men's action between True McConnell and CIU. But first, before we close out our coverage, we will speak with Rams head coach Danielle Fleming right here with you in moments. We return on the CIU Sports Network.
down here courtside now with Rams head coach Danielle Fleming. Coach, a tough loss tonight as you followed Drew McConnell 67-62. What a comeback from your group. You battled back down by eight with a minute and a half left to tie it up at 60. Talk about your group's effort down the stretch. Uh, I love the effort. I, I love the effort. I mean, we have three E's, effort, energy, and execution. I thought that our effort was good for the most part. I thought our energy was great. Our execution was not very great. Uh, well, you can't shoot 28% from the floor and 18% from the three and expect to win a good game. So um, I didn't think our execution was there. I think we missed shots that we should have made. Uh, but overall, with the energy and effort, can't be mad at it. Heading in now into a Saturday trip at Reinhardt. How yeah. do you hope to see your team kind of round out those edges on the execution? Yeah, we, we got to be better. We got to be better. Uh, that's three tough games this week, and KCU true it. We dropped both of them. Close games down to the wire games. Uh, I don't expect anything less from Reinhardt. They're going to give us our best, their best, and I think that we have to do the same. We have to show up every game and be our best. So uh, I look forward to it, but it's definitely going to be a tough game. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. That closes out our coverage of tonight's women's basketball action from Columbia as Drew McConnell comes on the road and takes down Columbia International while saving off a comeback, 67 to 62. Stay with us in 30 minutes and we'll bring you the men's action between these two in AAC play. Until then, I'm Kate Crenshaw for the CIU Sports Network.